good morning and welcome to this episode of Low Carb in the Leaves with me, Dr. Mary Barson from Real Life Medicine. As a medical doctor who practices low carb medicine among my standard general practice, I feel so incredibly privileged. I see pretty much every day that I'm at work, I see the profound benefits of a low carbohydrate diet. And I am so heartened to see that this movement is gaining momentum and becoming more and more mainstream. It is such a fabulous, powerful and safe way to reverse metabolic disease. And metabolic disease is, is the epidemic of our time. I uh, had a great day yesterday. In particular, I was uh, I saw some fantastic patients who have done some great work in healing their metabolism with a low carb diet. Um, I had a patient whose HBA when HBA one C had gone from six point eight down to five point two in just three months, and is doing so well. And I had two patients who had reversed their fatty liver. I've had patients come off their diabetes medications and put their type 2 diabetes into remission, as well as lots of people who have successfully and sustainably lost weight and gained health without hunger, without calorie restriction and without compromising on their metabolic health. It's just so wonderful. And more and more, I learn so much from my patients and clients and more and more I am learning about the mindset of, of lifestyle change. And I am learning how incredibly do, doable it is for people. And with the right kind of support, people can make good changes permanently. And no one is ever perfect. Well, people are rarely perfect when they implement lifestyle changes, but we don't need perfection. And this week in Low Carb in the Leaves, I am celebrating the power of progress. And I see a common mindset block with people is this all or nothing mentality, this kind of perfectionism that they need to do low carb real food perfectly or they can't do it at all. And that all or nothing thinking is a really common mindset block. And I spend time with my patients, with my clients, in our courses, with our people working through this all or nothing mentality. Because it's not all, it's not nothing, it's actually progress is what we need. And for some people this can be really, really challenging. They feel if they cannot stick 100% to the diet plan, then what's the point? I might as well just smash the entire packet of Tim Tams, go back to eating my, you know, 20 slices of white bread a day and just don't even bother because I can't do it. It's obvious I can't do it. Tried it for a day, couldn't do it, can't do it. No. Remember everybody, our metaphor, or my metaphor <laughs> for, for the week, uh, possibly for the month, is that we are in control of our health and that we can all put ourselves in the driver's seat of this wonderful all-terrain four-wheel drive vehicle and we can drive our health wherever we want. And if you steer it off into the ice cream parlor and have a bit of ice cream, doesn't matter. You can just hop back in that driver's seat, yank on the steering wheel and drive it back to where you want. And by focusing on progress rather than perfection, you are far more likely to achieve your goals. Perfectionism can really get in the way. It will wake up that inner critic, you know, that inner mean person that, that yells at us and tells us that we're hopeless and we can't do it. You don't want your inner critic to be the driver. You don't want to have to be sitting next to your inner critic in the car while it decides where you go. No. A wonderful, uh, wonderful client of mine yesterday said that she puts her inner critic in the back seat. Can't, you can't silence them. They're always going to be there. It's part of our evolutionary sort of psychological makeup. Um, but you can put your inner critic in the back seat of your all-terrain four-wheel drive vehicle and just not let them be in charge of the steering wheel. And 
one thing I find that that promotes support, uh, that promotes success more than anything else in lifestyle change, in the wonderful lifestyle change that low carb real food can bring, is support, community support, um, coaching multiple touch points with your coaches and with your community and that is everything that our 12-week mind and body rebalance program provides provides weekly coaching with dr lucy or myself an amazing facebook community where you um you can um you can debrief you can post you can get all the support you need from that wonderfully active facebook group and also our um incredibly comprehensive holistic 12-week uh, course where each week we offer about 10 or so very short very doable videos where we educate coach teach about the science of low carb about how to do low carb we give recipes and ideas um, teaching on how to build your plate we spend three weeks on, on mindset management and learning new mindset skills we address stress management talk about how to fast and how to fast safely and um, as well as sleep and gut health and all along the way provide that critical support so if this is something you think that would be useful to you if you are new to low carb and you want to learn more if you are doing low carb and want some support if you want to consolidate what you already know if you want to improve your mindset improve your lifestyle check out our website at www.rlmedicine.com and have a look at our 12-week rebalance program ah oh, still feeling very happy and grateful today i reckon this feeling is going to last all day all right, wonderful humans. This is Dr. Mary Barson signing out. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow. And Dr. Lucy will see you on Friday because I've got an appointment, so I won't be able to do low carb in the leaves on Friday. But my amazing colleague, Dr. Lucy, is filling in for me. So have a great day. Bye now. <laughs>